Hi everyone, so I wanted to show you how um, I'm going to set about making some embellishments to use on a variety of different projects um, for um, this month's blog post over at Hey Little Magpie. Um, I used the um, Schmel um, die cuts, um, the, what are they called? Dies, and um, just cut out a real big selection. I used cork and then I used some paper from the Pebbles um, pad of paper as well. And also the Brighton um, Pier from Studio Calico. And really, I was just looking at building up small clusters. And then I'm going to set myself the challenge of using these on um, a variety of different projects. Um, I did this kind of technique a few, um, probably last year, when I just made loads of embellishments. And I know people sometimes do it for um, like their Christmas journals and things like that. Um, and if you want a theme that's going to maybe run through an album, um, if you watch my channel you will see um, i done a album about a trip i done about 10 years ago to the Czech Republic, to an art school. And again, I created similar kind of embellishment themes and I just made them all up in advance. Um, and then that just helped add some continuity to the, to the actual album. So... All you can see me doing here is just taking all the different elements and I did say pre-cut them all and I also inked the edges on them. I then used um, the memory box dies which were like, the they're almost like confetti, they're different stars and hearts. And I really like mixing in those bigger and smaller elements. You'll see here that I'm also using some of the um, other bits, these are the cutter parts, again these are from the Jen Hadfield's Pebble Collection and these are really great and I really um, thought these made like made things quicker because you don't, you know, they all had kind of appropriate text and that is one of the good things about getting 6x6 um, pads of paper um, because everything is shrunk down um, from the 12x12 size so it does make it easier to do these sort of smaller embellishments and as I said, I was making these with no thought as to what project they were going on. Um, all I did is narrow down the colour scheme um, that I was going to use. And that was um, yellow, black and white and also some teal which I will bring in um, from the Chamel collection. Um, I did use Chamel stamps as well and I stamped the camera from her collection um, on some cork. It's the first time I've ever stamped on cork and it was mildly successful so um it also didn't help that i couldn't find my block either but i'm actually really happy how they came out and i just fussy cut those and so what i'm doing is when making these embellishments is i'm thinking about how i would normally cluster and embellish on a page i don't want them to look really different on my layouts so I am thinking about how I'd normally cluster, how I'd normally put sort of three things together, like three hearts or three stars. Um, I use cameras so much um, on my pages. So, you know, of course there was going to be camera elements in here. And I am just fussy cutting um, cameras from the Chamel collection. And I really love this teal colour um, piece of paper as well. And again, it just adds... A little pop of colour and as I said I have no thought as to what um, I'm going to use when I actually put them on layouts and yeah I mean I really sort of recommend this is also a good way of using up scraps if you've got um, a scrap bin I mean I have a scrap bin on my desk which is actually just most of my desk um, and you know you can take those little bits of paper and I must say I have fallen back in love with my big shot um, it is you know partly to do with all the new lovelies that are coming out and all the sort of wafer thin ones and how great they are um, and I, I do have my cameo but um, it is a lot easier to just pick up the big shot and run them through um, so I've kind of like rekindled um, my love for that and so you will probably be seeing me use um, them a bit more um, I, I've said before in videos that if you've got loads of scraps on your desk them just get I've got the um, Tim Holtz tag die and just run um, your bits all your different scraps through there to make tags because you can always use tags on layouts so I recommend doing that here you can see um, I'm taking and this was actually um, 
a Sizzlet die which is ages old. I've I've had it um, probably nearly two years, and it makes the very small rosettes. Rosettes were massive like a couple of years ago, and you know use, I used them on loads of projects, and I recently saw. Um, some rosettes um, that had come out with one of the collections I can't remember what collection it was and I was like oh yeah I remember I love those um, I had the Tim Holtz die but that is a lot bigger these actually make sort of mini ones and these were actually meant for layering up to make kind of flowers um, but as you know that's not really my style um, but I thought oh I know what I'll do is I'll actually get that die out and use that um, on some embellishments Again, because I've no idea what these are going to be going on, I know that these sort of rosettes are quite dimensional. Um, but as I said, I'm not really sure what I'm going to go with them, but I thought they'd add something different to my layouts and different different texture. Um, I have pulled in some small doilies because, again, um, the texture of the paper and the cork and the doily it just goes really well together. Um, and actually, I really enjoyed um, this process because it was... It was kind of almost like batch production and in the end you know you didn't have to think too much about it and you know by the end when I'd sort of created I think it's about nine or ten different embellishments you know I just kind of thought okay this is going to save me so much time um, doing layouts and um, you will see um, also on the blog and also there's a couple of um, videos as well of layouts and different things that I did make with these embellishments as well so just really really enjoying you know enjoying these and he can see I'm just even using little scraps up and it was just you know it was a great process and sometimes you're maybe not in the mood to to scrap a 12 by 12 layout um, or this would probably be really good if you're doing project life and you know you maybe wanted something that went across a week or if you do it in a month or however and you can just sit down and make these in advance um, I've done it quite a lot and I know other people had these dies and stuff because a lot of the dies are now a lot smaller um, are really great to cut from project life cards as well so I'd recommend just grabbing any of your stash and grabbing the dies there was loads of lovely dies over at Hey Little Magpie so um, I do recommend you go and check them out and because so many of the new collections um, from the different designers are coming out um, with dies as well um, and as I said, dies and 6x6 um, pads of paper are fab. I could not recommend them enough. I just think because the pattern, the pattern papers are so much more condensed and smaller, everything works really great together. So here, I mean, you're just watching me kind of just build up the layers, build up the different clusters. I'm kind of overlapping and underlapping. I've cut out some of the wording from one of those Chamel papers and I actually cut that out from the branding strip um, which is kind of like the hanging strip in the 6x6 pads and I'm just really trying to mix um, all of those patterns and different things together and those little stars are so cute I will admit they're a bit of a pain to pick out of the, the dies but actually I really enjoyed using them so I do recommend you pick those up um, if you haven't die cut with cork as I said this is like my first time I couldn't recommend it enough um, I'm almost like I want to just try die cutting loads of different stuff now um, I've kind of really got that bug again and I did when I finished this um, these layers I had lots of different stars and hearts left and that's fine I just put them all in with um, in the box where I kept all these and then when I was making my layouts I could just pick those up to add something to the layout and maybe add some different dimension or just you know add some more interest to the page so they did actually come in useful and they'll just sit in my stash until they're all used up so again it's similar to what a lot of people talk about with the electronic die cutters and that is doing anything in batches so maybe just sitting down and having a session where you cut everything out so thank you very much guys and I will cut to another part of the video now cheers bye hi everyone it's nancy here and um, i just want to apologize because the video did cut out halfway when i was filming i didn't realize um, but i just wanted to show you um the embellishments um that i have created um this i used about four sheets of six by six um paper and they were from the uh pebbles jenny um hadfield 
and there's also a piece from the Brighton Pier and the Chamel collection. Um, I also just used some cork. This is just a roll of normal craft cork. Um, it's the first time I've ever die cut anything um, with that. And I'm really happy with how um, these all came out. I haven't used um, my die cutter much and I was kind of, I fell in love with the Schmel dies and that's what's made me um, get them. But yeah, I'm really happy with how everything came out and I'm, I'm loving these little um, like accordion folds um, bits. And again, they are something I used to do and haven't done in a long while but I'm really loving these so now um, the challenge I've set myself is to use these up um, on some um, different layouts um, I'm really happy um, how quickly these all came together and hopefully um, it's gonna make embellishing some pages really easy and these will just store really well um, just in a baggie in my stash so thank you very much for watching and I'll be back with some um, process videos soon hopefully using these up Cheers, bye!